Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is going to be a continuation of the previous videos on SDXL control net models. Uh, so we talked about open pause and uh, depth uh, models. Today we're going to be talking about the canny model. So uh, the way to get them is uh, here in Xenseer's uh, Hugging Face page. So this is the canny SDXL model. You can download it and then save it into um, comfy UI models control nets folder. Once you uh, download them there, you can pick it from uh, here, the load control net. You just pick the model right there, and you have canny SDXL version 2. I just renamed it to new dot safe tensors. And the uh, workflow, I'm going to be sharing it in the uh, description below. And Right here, you just have the default, technically, with uh, the negative text, watermark, blur, and distortion, AGI Excel version 1 model. It's available in my coffee page. Latent image, 1024 pixels. And the prompt from ardeniusai.com. So if you say uh, cat, for example, it will produce, if you pick the prompt engineer AI expert, it will produce the uh, prompt for you, a really detailed prompt. I, I made sure that it includes all the, uh, you know, uh, important elements to give you a really nice text to image output. And once you have your prompt, then you just uh, input the uh, apply control net node here. You add the control net model, the canny model to the control net and the output of the uh, positive prompt into the conditioning input of the apply control net the output conditioning into the input positive prompt of the k sampler and uh, right here you have two preprocessors these are the important ones the normal canny produces an image like this one which uh, detects the outline of the objects and misses a lot of details in the middle. So it depends on your use case. If you want to capture only the outline of an object that you want to replicate, like this image here, uh, then use Canny, which is this one here. If uh, you want to uh, capture more details, use Canny Edge, and it will produce something like this. As you can see, it captures a lot of the details of the original image, like, you know, the uh, hands here, the tail, um, you know, the eyes, the nose, and everything. While here, it's missing a lot of, a lot of details. So this image here is produced through Canny Edge, as you can see. Uh, this is the original, and this is the uh, output image. So as you can see, the hands here are the same. The wooden uh, piece that it's uh, stand, uh, sleeping on is the same. Even the greenery is almost the same, the back porch. So it captures a lot of details with the canny edge in here. While the normal canny, it's not going to be capturing a lot of details. So as you can see here, we're going to test it out. So this is the canny now. And this was the canny edge, which captures more details. Now we're going to be generating uh, using canny only, which is this one. As, and you, as you're, you're going to see, it's going to be missing some of the details of the original image. And sometimes that's wanted, like if you want to uh, uh, produce different image from the original, this one. Uh, just have a little bit of variety. Uh, you can use the canny. And uh, if you want a very close image to the original, you use the canny edge here, like this one. So let's see what we're going to produce. And I'm going to be doing um, a lot more uh, Comfy UI tutorials. This is a free software, an open source software that you can download and use. And it's a really, really powerful software, and it can get very, very complicated, but uh, I'm starting with the very basics and I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, videos on it. 
So make sure to check out the playlist for Comfy UI for different videos. So I did videos on upscaling and, uh, you know, uh, better resolution and everything. So you can check that out. So this is the image that we got from the only canny image here. You can see it's missing the piece under the uh, cat. Hands are a little messed up. And uh, the rest is okay, actually. It's not bad, but it's missing some of the details uh, that, that, are, that are available in this image here. So I hope you like the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. That really helps. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.